from My Dream in Soap. Welcome to my channel and thanks for dropping by. It's soap challenge time again and for this month's soap challenge we had to do drop swirls. Now you may be aware or may not that there are three different classes in the soap challenge and therefore depending on which category you're in there would be degrees of difficulty for what you have to do for the challenge. I'm in the winners category and so therefore for this challenge Although we have to do a drop swirl technique, we have to do another technique in our soap as well. So for example, you could do a drop swirl and you could do some layers, that sort of thing. The rules state that the drop swirl has to be at least 50% of our soap. So my plan, now <laughs> this is very last minute, so I'm gonna apologize straight up front. It's gonna be a video where I'm not gonna record everything, especially the making of an embed that I've got planned. Because ideally this soap is gonna take sort of three days to make, two days to make and then cutting it on the third day. I am pretty late in the afternoon, early evening on Sunday. We've been away for a while and the challenge deadline is Tuesday. So I'm really up against time. I've really kind of like got sort of two and a bit days for that. So I'm hoping I can get it done. But that does mean that things like making this embed that I'm gonna be doing, just the top part of this little snake's head, I'm gonna be doing when it's quite dark. So I'm, I'm just gonna make that, you've seen me extrude and put things together in the past, but I'm just gonna make that probably off camera and then just bring that in as I need it. Okay, so how I'm gonna do this from the drop swirl perspective is, I'm gonna do an embed for the snake, sort of the, if you imagine the rest of the snake body would be here. So the main part of the snake body here. And I'm gonna do drop swirls in that. So hopefully those drop swirls will look like scales. And then I'm gonna make that as an embed. And then this outside bit, of the snake, this sort of hooded part that you have with the snake, I'm gonna then pour that as drop swirls as well. So that will be more than 50% of my soap done as drop swirls. This will just be a solid single color, probably black actually, and then I'm gonna have my embed. So that's my plan. Here's my mold that I'm gonna be using for my soap. So I'm gonna make my embed in this mold. I don't have dividers for this mold, so literally I just get a bit of Corex that plastic sheeting stuff and just cut it so it tightly fits my mold and I'm going to use that to block off my mold just to make I want to do a drop swirl bit to fit the snake's neck so therefore I'm just going to do that in there and then I'm going to actually carve that to get me the shape of the snake's neck. I'm going to mix up some soap and then we'll get on with doing the drop swirl. I've made up the small amount of soap that I need to put in that mould. The fragrance oil I'm using is Dragon's Blood from Nature's Garden. Now this is a fragrance that discolours slightly and whenever I have a fragrance that discolours I do quite a lot of extensive testing on it. I try it against different colours of micas and that to see which stand up to the discolouring and which don't. So although this does discolour to a light brown it doesn't bleed from area to area and also Pretty well all colours are okay apart from yellows. Yellow turn green when you use it with this. So I'm gonna be pretty good to use it in this soap, especially it's gonna be a fairly dark soap. Colours wise I've got here, I've got half of my soap coloured with activated charcoal and half of my soap coloured with antique silver from Mica Mama. For my drop swirl, I am going to use squeeze bottles because I want to have nice little drops and also I need to get it down deep into that mould so therefore I've attached some pipettes to my squeeze bottles. Right, let's get this fragrance in, don't want to forget that. And possibly you have to refill those squeeze bottles again, but I don't mind that because I like these little squeeze bottles. So I'm just going to basically just use lines just to get these drops swirl in. So just pouring my lines of soap. It'll take a little while to get the drops going at the base because obviously they've got nothing to drop into. Okay, 
so that's all my soap used up as you can see i've got a little bit of a leak here it's not too bad i've put a bit of tissue in to maybe stem it a bit but that is sort of the risk that you can sometimes get if you use some homemade dividers but i think it'll be all right and hopefully it'll set up before that leaks too much so i'm just going to put this away now and um, i am going to try and get it through gel although it's a small piece of soap so it may be difficult but i do want to gel it because blacks so the activated charcoal does need gel to make it go a good black I've unmolded my what's going to be my snake neck here. I have actually cut it into two pieces just to make sure it wasn't hideous inside and it seems fine. Now, what I've got with my snake is the neck is actually in segments because obviously a snake is pretty bendy. It's quite segmented. So I'm going to take my neck and I'm going to slice it into layers and then put it back together just so I can create some of those segments. So what I'm just going to do is slice it first. I want to keep these slices in order so they fit back together nicely. I'm going to make them some of them different sizes. Some of them a little bit bigger than others. Then to emphasise that I've got these split up, because clearly I don't want to just cut them and then stick them all together and you'd hardly see the fact that I've taken the effort to cut them. I am I was going to put a little bit of soap inside, but I thought, well no, that's just going to be too fiddly. I'm just going to do paint on some activated charcoal. Now this is something I quite often do just to highlight my embed. So this is just some activated tar charcoal in some nice fresh distilled water. And that works well in two ways. It gives us a nice little line without using much mica or charcoal in this case. And also it helps to make sure those embeds stick together easily as well because you've added some water there as well. So there's that sandwich made so there should be just a slight line and then the last thing I'm going to do is to emphasize these joins is I'm just going to round off these corners a little bit between each of them just so I get the sort of little curves on the neck okay I'm just using a I have no clue what this tool is called I got a pack of them off Amazon years ago clay modeling tools and they just have various ends in and I'm just using this curvy end on this so I'm squashing it back together and then I'm just going to dig out the join a little bit let's get our soap made up so what I've got here is the oils that I'm going to need for basically the background the outside of the snake so these are just colored just my oils just colored with some activated charcoal so let's just get this mixed up okay so I've given that quite a good blend because I do want this to set up sort of reasonably quickly it's still lovely and fluid I'll always have a soap that's hopefully fluid when it gets poured into the mold just because then it goes against the sides better and stops having any bubbles okay let's get my fragrance oil in there let's get that in the mold now now i've not made enough soap to go all the way to where i want it because i need to have it up the sides and i don't want to scrape a whole load out of the middle so I'm going to let this set a little and then gradually work it up the side of the mould just to save me taking too much up. Okay, so it's starting to set up a little. I'm not sure how well you can see that with the black. So I am just going to carry on playing with this and scooping it up the sides to sort of where I want it 
to get it into a place where I can scrape it. So I've been pushing everything up the sides, so hopefully you can see that, and I've had a bit of a go along with my scraper. I'm just going to finish off just tidying this last little bit up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that and as you can see why I didn't fill it all the way up with black because that would have wasted an awful lot. I did scrape some off, that's the amount I scraped off in total, okay, that amount and obviously I can just put that in a little sample soap or something. Now I want to put my snake's neck in there so well sure that it's stuck nicely together so it's not going to fall apart so hopefully I'm not going to mess this up and drop it on the sides because it's quite fiddly and I don't want to damage that nice shape I've just scraped out. Pretty happy with that half. Let's get the other half in. It's a nice tight fit because obviously it was actually made in this mould to start with. Okay, whew. that went better than I thought. I thought I was going to have all sorts of problems touching the side and then have to get it out again and re-scrape, but it's fine. So what I want to do now is make the rest of the snake in a drop swirl. I'm going to do it in these very small drop bottles. These are just literally old hair dye bottles, all sort of cleaned out nicely. I use them quite a lot, but it's going to be a very, very tiny drop swirl. So hopefully they'll work okay. Right, I'm going to pop that aside and I'm going to make up three colours now and I'll come back when I've done that. I've mixed up those three colours and I've popped them already in the squeeze bottles. So this was Lime from Pure Rock Colours, this was Emerald Lagoon from Pure Rock Colours and this was Brushed Copper from uh, Mica Mama. So what I'm now going to do is just fill that up to the level that I want with hopefully mini drop swirls in these tiny weeny little squeeze bottles. Going to be careful at first obviously trying to get down the sides. But I do want to go quite quick because obviously I don't want these setting up and not actually turning into drops. So that worked or seemed to work really well. I had plenty of time to get that in there without it getting all too thick. So I'm just going to leave that now because I do need to scrape the top and then put my embed on top. I think this is thick enough to scrape out now. So I'm just going to gradually just work out. I need to have this going down because I've got one segment of the neck to put in separately that's attached to my embed and then this will just be where the embed will sit. So I'm just going to take this out. This will take off quite a bit of soap, but that's fine. There's that all scraped out, and you can see it's sort of left with a bit of a funny old shape in the middle. And that's where I just need to pop in that embed, again hopefully being careful and not crushing everything. So I'm going to get my embed, I'm deliberately not going to show you the inside of it so it can be a little bit of a surprise when we cut. I'm going to just check that that's going to fit and I'm just going to carefully pop that on. Okay, and then that should just join up with that soap underneath. 
Okay, cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I just need to tidy up these sides here. Can you see they're all messy? So I need to tidy, tidy up through those without damaging the rest of it. And then I've just got the top to pour. Okay, final bit. This is just activated charcoal in some soup. <laughs> <laughs> Great explanation, eh? So I'm just going to use this just to go over the top there and just finish off our sneaky soup. I think that's all done that looks nice and flat I'm not going to muck around with it. I'm not going to bother with a swirl on the top or anything I'm just going to leave it as it is well I hadn't planned for a swirl no nope. I'm just thinking about doing sneaks on the top or something no nope. am I ooh ah ooh no I'm leaving it leaving it just as it is because I've got no other soap mixed up or anything that's cool let's put it away and we'll see what it's like tomorrow I'm quite excited to cut this one just to see if it's worked here we are with our soap the next day now it's probably a bit early to be cutting this soap because I kind of finished pouring it sort of early afternoon yesterday um probably about midday is actually and it's now sort of eight o'clock the morning the next day so it, but it's firm so I think it's going to be okay and to be honest as we know I'm running out of time for this so let's see what we've got just give this a cut <laughs> it does feel a bit soft fingers crossed let's see what we've got Hey! Ah, oh, look at him! Is it him? Seems like it'll be a him, as <laughs> it's a snake. Oh, look, I really like that. Oh, I'm so pleased I did that. Do you know what? While we were in Spain, I was I was trying to think, because we had to do something with a drop swirl, and the tree was too obvious, and I think a lot of people were doing that sort of thing. But I was just trying to think of something else to do, because we had to be at least 50% drop swirl and then something else. So trying to come along and think of something was actually took me ages and while I was in Spain I kept thinking and thinking and thinking about what would actually do and I I'm really pleased with that I think it looks really cool and look I'm pleased with how oops let's just put this down how do you remember when I, I took that neck bit apart and you can't really see the painted line I did in it too prominently but it is there and I, I think it just came out that just perfectly and I like the way I've shaped those oh I'm really pleased with that <laughs> so I think this will yes be this month's em entry for my soap challenge it wasn't actually that hard to do I mean obviously I did it quite quickly but I did really think it was a good soap to do right okay I'm gonna get those sorted let's just put a couple there as you know, as I've mentioned several times in this video, I'm up against the clock for this, so I may not put some end photos on the end of this video. So if I don't do that, let me just say now, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like the soap, and if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks so much for watching and all your support, everybody. Happy soaping! <laughs>